A crash near the Buckman Bridge leaves a young motorcyclist dead and his family grieving their sudden loss. It happened last night on I-295 just west of the bridge. Today we're learning more about the man who died, 25-year-old Vincenzo Cortesa. In the weeks before his death, he posted comments on Facebook about the dangers of riding a motorcycle. News for Jackson Reporter Ethan Calloway is live with those posts are revealing about the man whose life was cut short. Ethan. Yeah, Tark, a close family friend tells me today the family is still very raw in their grief, as you might imagine. And some of the posts, as you mentioned, uh, made on Facebook by that victim really read as a sort of premonition weeks before he was actually killed. This is the 25 year old who lost his life Thursday night just west of the Buckman Bridge. Investigators say an SUV was making an illegal U turn near the bridge and collided with Vincenzo Contessa's motorcycle. Just two days before he died, he uploaded this photo to Facebook. Friends expressing their grief in the comments section. That Facebook profile provides a glimpse into Contessa's life, describing himself as a superbike rider living life day to day. Photos posted on his profile show his love of motorcycles. That's also clear from comments made 14 weeks ago under a photo of a motorcycle he apparently wanted. I'd be unstoppable, Contessa wrote. After loved ones posted concerns over his safety, he wrote, just because I have a fast bike doesn't mean I'm going to die. The back and forth with family shows Contessa explaining his love of riding motorcycles and his lack of fear. He went on to write, it's going to take more than speed to kill me. I'm tough as hell, and responded to another family member's concerns saying, at least I lived. And Contessa was taken to Orange Park Medical Center where he died. The two people in that SUV were told by investigators are okay. Reporting live, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.